How about that for a fridge sticker? They seem to have done it. We have three people! Yep. Three fishies! Three people on! Good morning guys, my name is Trevor. Welcome back to the Arctic Vet YouTube channel and today, man, we've got something big. We've got something real big for you guys. And uh, all I want to say is that I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for clicking that red subscribe button. If you've bought merchandise, thank you. I appreciate that. And also, if you're on my Patreon, Todd, talking to you bro, thank you. I appreciate it. If you haven't joined the Patreon, or bought any merch it's down in the description below right now we're working on our way to 1,000 subscribers so if you guys could click that red subscribe button and then ask three of your friends if you've already asked three of them ask even more of your friends to click that red subscribe button and become part of the RT vet fam now let's dive right on in to our Jesus calling devotional book here today happens to be gosh what is today labor day oh man so september 6th hold on i got I'm trying to get my my phone out so i, I can make sure i'm right because you know sometimes i'm wrong <clears throat> hey look at this this is august 6th so we don't want that one september 6th do everything in dependency on me my desire to act independently apart from apart from me springs from the root of pride big word right here for a minute self-sufficiency is subtle subtle ins insinuating insinuating good job trevor Woo. it's way into insinuating its way into your thoughts and actions without you realizing it but a part of me you can do nothing <clears throat> apart from me you can do nothing that is nothing of eternal value my deepest desire for you is that you learn to depend on me in every situation i move heaven and earth to accomplish this purpose but you must collaborate with me in this training teaching you would be simple if i neg negated your free will or overheard you overwhelmed you with your with my power however i love you too much to withdraw the godlike privilege i've bestowed on you as my image bearer use your freedom wisely by relying on me constantly thus you enjoy my peace my presence and my peace wow does that not go with today's video? Y'all are about to find out. So let me take a break here. I got to go take a picture of this, post it on my Instagram, which is also at Arctic Vet, because I got a lot of people on there and Facebook that love seeing these every day. Let's go do that right quick. <clears throat> all right, so today's topic is all about Miss Dora here. And I'm going to be honest, I'm going to be completely honest. It's also about my pride, which is why in the devotional, if you skipped over that, you might just want to go back and listen because it, it, it's exactly what's happening today. <laughs> I'm I'm setting my pride aside, and it's it's not gonna it's not gonna hold me back anymore. This is um no nope. So Dora, as you guys may already notice, something has changed. And that is the fact that decals are coming off. And I gotta, I gotta clean my windows, don't worry. But look at this, this is kind of cool. This is kind of cool. Like a ghosted decal, because this one's been on there for years. Like literally since I got her. It's so cool. Anyways, we are removing decals from Dora. Because we are... Officially selling Dora. Yep. 
and and here's why and I, you know I'm not I'm not too I'm kind of upset about it but I'm really not upset about it the problem is is that I feel I feel like keeping Dora is kind of one of those things like the Corvette I my pride is like no just hold on to it just hold on to it struggle and figure it out but right now I'm not joking when I say this which is very uh, uh well I, I just I don't care I, I want you guys to understand and know I've got $25 on my bank account right now that's it that's all I have now as you know I started working last week and I work I was able to work one day because of some sick kids and you know what that's that's literally part of life that's part of being a single parent or being a parent in general when your kids are sick you take care of them you can't send them to daycare you can't send them to school you have to one find somebody to take care of them or two you take care of them and I'm here to tell you that my boys are so glad that I'm here taking care of them on their sick days I honestly I think it it helps them a ton but little do they know it, it also it helps me it helps me so anyhow um, I only got to work one day last week and this week I'm hoping hoping to work more even though today is Labor Day whatever you know we're off that's that's cool that's cool but I'm hoping to be able to work the rest of this week and then not you know not have sick kids or anything like that but if it happens it happens and so here's what I've been I've I've known that this was coming right I've known which is why I've been trying to find some IT work where I could make that nice 30 40 dollars an hour <clears throat> well none of those have come through none of them and I, at first I was like man I just I just don't understand well I believe that I'm still in a period of time of waiting because of my pride so here we are removing decals this isn't gonna work very well I just drop that one <laughs> because of my pride it's it's like oh you can you can do this you can still have this cool car and really it's it's an okay car i like i like dora and but she has some flaws but it's it's all right you know it's better than what my jeep was it, she doesn't leave me stranded heck i took her mud and she got us through that and no nothing did break nothing broke it was it was just a little uh one of them wire covers, it just fell off. No biggie. Super easy to put it right back on. So, anyways. This is going to be kind of a long video. I guess I should say that now. Um, I've been praying on this. Like, Lord, show me the way. Where? What do I do? How do I, how do I get through this? And after talking about it yesterday... It, it comes down to selling Dora is going to literally allow me to become the closest to debt free that I've ever been. I'm still going to have some credit cards to pay off. That's okay. That's not bad. I still technically will have a car loan but I'm not, I'm not, uh, it's, it's legally not my car, but I'm legally bound to still be financially, uh, whatever, still supposed to pay for it. Like, the, to the bank, I, I own the car. To the courts, I don't own the car. So, that is going to be about my only debt that I will have. And, uh, to be honest, I'm not going to, I'm not paying that debt it's not my car I have asked many times to be taken off that car and many times I've been told no so it is what it is and I, I no longer stress over that car payment being late or not made on time and it doesn't bother me anymore 
so that's totally totally okay that that is my only legal legal obligated debt I, I don't know how you say that I'm hoping that after I do Seldora that's gonna be the only debt that I have and that'll be that's gonna be an amazing feeling and that does not mean that oh right away I'm gonna be like ooh cool I can go buy a new car because I'm here to tell you guys I plan to buy a complete shit box now, I'm not talking about one that's gonna leave me stranded but I'm talking about buying a car that will cost maybe a couple thousand maybe three or four and I can pay for it in cash because what I sell Dora for I will be able to make that much money off of her because I don't owe that much because I kind of played it smart when we got all those nice lovely well I gotta throw this stuff away there we go all those beautiful stimulus checks you know what I did with them your guy here was like hey I'm not working <clears throat> I know where this money needs to go and I put it on Dora I put it on Dora I have paid so much off on this car this year <clears throat> that I am <coughs> essentially, essentially I will be getting my stimulus checks back from Dora. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I guess that's just one way to look at it. So I'm, I'm my plan is to pay pay her off, and then I will use whatever money I have left to get me a car something that has four seats that's literally all i'm requiring i'm, I'm not going to be picky i'm i'm going to be happy to to okay okay so basically what's what's happening how i feel is that i am <clears throat> god is like trevor you you need to you need to reset you need to restart you need to start completely over I've I've proven to you that IT work is isn't what you're supposed to be doing isn't where you're supposed to be because one the first place you start working treated you like trash <clears throat> two the next you got laid off during covid and you always felt out of place it's not your place you're not supposed to be in that field <clears throat> and every time guess what has felt right and felt good and giving me goosebumps like right now you guys right now right here this is where I'm supposed to be this is what I'm supposed to be doing I know that there's more to it and more to come but this is going this has been this has been the greatest downfall on YouTube ever let's let's take it back a let's go to last year all right let's go back a year a year ago I had I had just bought a trailer to haul my Corvette. Yes, I had a Corvette. If you don't know, go back and check out some of the older videos. That car, I had paid off. I paid it off. I paid it off earlier this year. No, I'm sorry, last year. I paid it off last year. Paid it off last year. Bought a trailer. Hauled it around, went racing, did all sorts of fun stuff. And now, the Corvette is sold. That truck is my brother's and I, I fixed it for him. <clears throat> and we're waiting for some more stuff so that I can, I can finish fixing it so it's wor road worthy for him. There is no trailer here. The trailer is also sold. I, I literally guys I was up here I was doing really good making good money it, I mean it wasn't it, it was good but it wasn't where I should have been making it was good and then I was able to do all these things and I we had money and we weren't struggling we lived in a, a big house a big house like um, I was paying $900 a month for the house we used to live at so for all you other all y'all that were curious yeah, that house was $900 a month. And now, we pay half that. And I love it. Absolutely love it. Because look at this view. 
Look at that. That is, that right there. Oh, so worth it. So worth it. Plus, I have the world's best landlords now. Like, oh my gosh, it's amazing. And so I feel like this is this has been the greatest downfall of I was like Trevor. Trust me. Trust me. I this is where I want you to be. I want to take you here, but we have to go through these steps first. So right now, this entire year, think, since COVID, and I'm glad that we have COVID. I know that sounds bad, but without it, I would not be here. I would probably still be in the wrong place. I would be in the wrong place. And so for that, I am thankful that we did have that. Oh man. Since it's Monday, all my alarms are going off. Like, hey, it's time to go get Cohen. <laughs> hey, it's time to get the boys to school. <laughs> that was cracking me up. And so, yeah, you know, um, I I feel good about this. We're we're on the path to being to resetting, to starting completely fresh, which is going to be basically a debt free reset this is kind of my lottery to get to becoming debt free most of us we we go into debt you know buying a house buying a car buying this and that and then credit cards you know and and bills just bills man and i'm at the point where i have learned to live on basically nothing basically nothing and it's it's amazing to me that I went from making a, a little over five thousand dollars a month. Yep, that's what I was making. To 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 twenty five hundred a month, half of my income, and now I make even less. I mean, I don't make any money. I haven't, I haven't made any money since, uh, gosh, May, May, I feel like that's right, I've literally been living on the money that I had from the Corvette, and y'all know I sold that for 4500 so you do the math, because here we are in September, and I'm just now starting to work, and this, this is gonna help me. This is gonna help us big time. We can sell Dora. We can get rid of a lot of debt. Plus make just a little bit to buy us a nice cheap car. And it, it's gonna be, it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be amazing. But I'm not gonna, I, th I think that's really all I have to say so far. Yes, I can open that. Let's go inside real quick. I'm gonna come back here in just a second, okay? All right, I'm back and I just reviewed some of the video and it all sounds great. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make, which I have already done, I've made a video about Dora and all the details that anybody could want or need, need to know things that are wrong things that make noise things that are good to go miles year details everything is packed into this next video so today you're gonna get two videos because I'm going to upload this as a separate non daily vlog video because I want to use it in my posting for where I list where I list Dora for sale now I'm 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 set on it. Yep, I'm set on it now. In that video, I wasn't so sure. This one, twenty-six thousand as is with the extra original wheels and tires, gets the whole shebang. And uh, so, anyways, I'm not going to get much into that content that video because you guys will be able to go watch that video as well. If you're interested, if you want to help me sh help me sell it, share that video, get the word out. 
I would I would greatly appreciate it. You don't have to. You guys aren't my salesman. But if you know anybody, send them my way. That'd be awesome. So I guess here we go, Miss Dora. This is gonna be it, girl. We will catch you guys in another daily video tomorrow. But like I said, if you want, enjoy a second video today all about Dora and all about the me trying to sell her. So smash that thumbs up. Don't forget to click that red subscribe button. I've got some more decals to remove. I've got a lot of cleaning to do. So whew, let's get to it. Oh, I was going I was going I was going to do that to end it, but I forgot. Have a great day and God bless. Yee <laughs>